Hello, it's me, Dean. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's video, I will be sharing to you the coding assignments that I had during the first semester of my freshman year. Also, stay tuned for the part 2 of this video next week where I'll be sharing to you the coding assignments that I had during the second semester of my freshman year. If you're new to my channel, I'm studying at the University of the Philippines, Mindanao, majoring in computer science and an incoming sophomore. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Also, I'm using my cell phone as a mic right now because I'm experimenting with the audio quality in my videos. So without further ado, let's get started with the first coding assignment. So now, ito yung first nating coding assignment. This is not in order. Ito yung program that displays a slope intercept of a line. Sige, run muna natin para makita nyo kung ano yung mukha ng program. So select the form you would like to convert. For example, I want point slope form. From the point slope form to slope intercept form, enter the slope. So kunwari, 4. Enter the xy coordinates of the point. Sige, kunwari, mm, 7, 8. Point slope form, y minus 8 is equal to 4 times x minus 7. Slope intercept form, y is equal to 4 minus 20. So, do do another conversion. So, ang i-click, ang type ko is 0 para hindi na umulit. So, yun. K thinks by. So, that's how the program looks like. And I'll explain the code. So, ito, print F. Ito yung makikita mo yung select the form that you would like to convert to point ba, point slope. So, yung choice naman dito is yung, you know, 0 or 1. Tapos, tinipe ko dito is 0. So, yun yung sasalo sa 0. Yung variable the choice. If user picks 1, it will proceed to case 1. But if the user picks 0, it will proceed to case 2. So, ito, switch, choice. Bali, switch statement to, which is prompting for the user input for yung sa xy coordinates dito ano ba yun? dito yeah so from the two point form to slope intercept form enter the xy coordinates of the point 1 so ito pagka two point form convert na sa slope intercept form so yun computing for the slope and y intercept 2 point is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 Ito naman yung sa B, y1 is equal to 2 point times x1. Ito naman, checking whether the slope is undefined. Kung undefined siya, ma-check ma ng code ko if undefined or hindi. Ito, yung code ko, i-check niya if vertical line yung lalabas, horizontal line. So, yan yung, yan yung purpose ng code na to. In case 0 naman, it converts point slope to slope intercept form. So, for, from point slope form to slope intercept form, slope x1, y1, to, yeah, ito siya. Slope intercept form, ito na yung display niya kung ano yung answers. Ito, default. Go back to the start and force user to enter a 1 or a 0. So, itong default, it just ensures that if hindi nag-enter ang user, kawari dito, choice is equal to 0, choice is 0, or 1. Babalik nang babalik yung loop. So, if nag-enter ang user ng 2, babalik na naman siya sa loop. Tatanungan niya naman, select the form you would like to convert, select the form you would like to convert until mag-enter ang user ng 1 or 0 lang. Ito naman, gives the user a choice to repeat or terminate the program, do another conversion, yes. Babalik na naman siya sa program na yung tatanungan, select the form you would like to convert, 2 point form. So, ang mangyayari is, magra-run ulit yung program and if 0 ang pinili ng user dito sa do another conversion, like what I did here, hindi na magpo-proceed yung program, matuulit, pero mag-end and magto-terminate ng program. As you can see here, program ended with exit code 0. Ayan, key thinks by. So ngayon, ito naman yung next nating problem. Ang um, ginagawa naman nito is titingnan kung magkano yung painting. So enter the length of the painting, enter the width of the painting, enter the cost per inch of framing wood. Enter the cost per square foot of canvas. I-run ko muna yung program para makita niya rin kung ano yung itsura at kung anong ginagawa niya. 
Their length of painting are 90 inches, width of painting 80 inches, and their cost per inch of framing wood are 7 per inch, square foot of the canvas are 9. For a painting that is 90 inches long and 80 inches wide, you need to buy 340 inches of wood and the canvas must be 95 inches long and 85 inches wide. The wood will cost a total of 2,380 pesos, the, con the canvas will cost a total of 504.69 pesos, the total cost of the materials will be 2,884 and 69 centavos. Program ended. So, ayan ang ginagawa ng program. Magkocompute lang siya kung magkano yung painting. So, ito yung formula for computation. Binibigay ito ng teacher namin sa amin kung ano yung formula na gusto niyang gamitin at i-incorporate namin sa program. So, ito siya. Check if length with costs are non-negative. If false, proceed to line 57. Or by line 57. So, yeah, yan, yan. One of the inputs is not a positive value. So, we'll put it the next coding assignment. So, ito siya. Lesson namin kasi is pointers. Nalala ko ginagawa ko pa ito nung ano. Nasa coffee shop pa ako. Nung wala pang COVID. So, size of array. Kanwari ang size ng array natin. 8, enter value 1. Tapos, enter value 2, 7. Enter value 2, 0. Enter value 4, 8. Enter value 5, 4. Enter value 6, 8. Enter value 7, 3. Enter value 8, 2. Size of array na next. Kasi parang merge tapos yung dalawang array, tapos isasort siya. Size of array, 1, 2, 3. So, values of array 1, ayan, sinabi niya. Values of array 2, yung mga tinipe ko. Values of merged array, which are sorted ng descending order. So, ito. 8, 8, 7, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1, 0. So, yun siya. Pointers na ginamit namin dito. At functions ko dito are get array size, populate array, merge arrays, sort array, and display. So, yan. Array 1, array 2, merge, size 1, size 2, size 3. So, get array size. So, if wala kang set na array size, kailangan mo mag-malloc, which requires to you to use pointers. So, int malloc size of size 1, size of array 2, kung gaano ka, kung gaano karami yung ilalagay mong numbers sa array. So, kanwari, diba dito, size of array 8, so 8 numbers ang linagay ko sa array na yun. So, ang merge naman, dynamic allocation for merge array, yung pagsasamahin mo yung dalawang array. So, ito-total mo lang yung size, size ng array 1, size ng array 2, so ito 8 plus 3 is 11. So yun yung size ng merge, kasi ilalagay mo lahat sila sa merge, para ma-merge silang lahat. So merge arrays, yeah, merges array 1 and array 2 into sing a single array. Ito mga functions to na ginawa ko. So ito, ito yung mga functions, get array size, populate array, tapos may mga local variables dyan, merge arrays, ito yung i-merge yung dalawang array. Habas, ito yung sort array, yung pag-isasort mo yung mga array from highest to lowest kasi descending order yung nasa. Binigay ng papel ng teacher namin at requirement. I hope you enjoyed me discussing the coding assignments that we had. So that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Also, mahilig ako sa Hamilton right now. I'm listening to their songs sa Spotify. If you also watch Hamilton, please comment down your favorite song from the musical also if you have any questions video ideas or comments just comment it down below and i'll be happy to answer them and read them and reply to them thank you very much god bless bye bye